Wow, friends, Rob here giving a response and a review. What an absolute shame. Rodney King, dead at age 47, I believe they're stating he drowned in a swimming pool. I remember several decades ago, Rodney King was in the midst of that racial, just that whole uproar, the LA, the whole, the, the rioting, the fires. It was an absolute terrible, terrible time and a season for America. Now, the only way we can really get together as far as racial reconciliation is to have God in the midst of our hearts. And someone just said, well, how'd you get from Rodney King dead at 40? Well, I'm a minister of the gospel, friends. If you desire to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube, hit the subscribe button right now. Also under the search, Rob Wood 1. I've got many of the Christian preaching, teaching ministry videos via YouTube where I do talk about the topic of the Bible, Christianity, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. But getting back to Rodney King, you know, God gave us a challenge in the Bible where he created different people of different ethnic cultures, backgrounds, different nationalities. The nations would come together, that's God's heart, and that we would love each other based upon that, you know, what we have in common is God's our creator, not the color of our skin, not the length of our hair, not the way our eyes were created, you know, but it's, I don't know if we're doing a very good job at this, to be honest with you. You know, I mean, God has literally placed us together within the, in the earth to learn how to cohabitate and become friends. And, you know, man, it just seems like peace is a difficult thing. And the only way really I believe we can tackle this is of having God in the center of our lives. And, you know, that's God's plan. It actually says in the book of Jeremiah, it says, I have a plan for you, plans for a hope and a future, plans for an expected end. So, you know, if you think about it, and this is the crazy thing. You know, slavery in the you know wasn't that long ago, and not only that, in the 1950s in America, there was still a lot of that edge going on, which is actually an absolute sin. You know, this whole back of the bus thing. I mean, this is bad, bad, bad stuff. You know that there's people that are still harboring that type of racism, racism. You know, and that bigotry. I mean, come on, man, let this go, man. So what? Someone else's skins are there. This is crazy. You know, and again, the only way to have God heal you of this or see through his eyes or the lens of his eyes of love is to have him in your heart. And, you know, Jesus is a lover, man. The book of John, third chapter, 16, first simply states, for God so loved the world. That's me. That's you. That's everybody. God loves everybody. You don't love one group and more than another. God loved the world. He gave his only son that if you would believe in Jesus, you'd not perish. You'd have everlasting life. So, you know, the Lord desires nobody to perish under the sound of my voice. He desires everybody to have everlasting life with him in heaven. Because when you take your last breath, and we got to agree, death is not the end. It's the inevitable. When you take your last breath, the elevator either goes up to life insurance or it goes down to the basement where there's fire insurance. Hey, if you've never experienced accepted Jesus in your heart, say this simple prayer with me. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross of my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Again, my condolences to Rodney King's family, to his friends. Uh, you know, let's honor this man. It was a terrible thing America went through. I would hate to see something like this ever to that degree happen again. I don't know, man. Is it inevitable? I don't know, man. Anyway, again, I'm a minister of the gospel, friends. If you desire to subscribe to my ministry channel, hit the subscribe button. Also under the search, Rob Wood 1. I've got many of the Christian preaching, teaching ministry videos via YouTube. Hey, the Lord bless you. God loves you. He's got a plan for your life. Follow it. Jesus always is and always was the answer. Be blessed.